YouTube, Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, bringing you guys a review or a dual review of two cards which you guys have been asking for, and those cards are two cards renowned for well, known as the skill cards, skill prisoner and breakthrough skill. Um, I asked you guys in my exit on night review what cards you wanted to see, and one of the asks was skill prisoner versus breakthrough skill, which would I run, and what are the plus points and minus points of each card? And I thought, hey. Why not? I'll give that a go, as soon as I managed to get in a couple of skill prisoners, I already had my breakthrough skills left over from Nats. Um, and we're going to start with the newer card, Skill Prisoner. This is from the new set, Legacy of the Valiant. Its effect reads, which I will actually uh, bring up to the camera, because it's... Oh, no, 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 the, sh the shadowing is uh, quite bad. I'm just going to read it myself. If you want to actually read it yourself, look it up. Uh, target one card you control. This turn, when any monster effect resolves that targeted that card at activation, negate that effect. During either player's turn, except the turn this was card to s this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one card you control. This turn, when any monster effect resolves that targeted that card at activation, negate that effect. So this card's pretty cool for a number of reasons. It has a it's an out to a lot of things that you previously didn't have too much of an out for. Especially cards which um, bounce and uh, banish rather than destroy. Because there are a lot of cards in the game that say they can't be targeted. And there are a lot of cards that say they can't be destroyed. So a lot of cards lose to kind of effects that bounce or... Um, uh, monster effects that bounce or spin to the top of the deck or return to hand. Skill Prisoner gives you an instant trap that can stop that. The only issue is... Breakthrough skill, breakthrough skill can stop that. Everyone knows what breakthrough skill does. It's basically a Veiler. You can activate this card as a, you know, as a trap, flip it face up, and you negate your opponent's monster's effect as a chain, and then you can banish it from your graveyard during your turn and negate one of their effects again, like a trap. So, people will say, why use skill prisoner when it has to be when the monster, you, well, when the card you control has to be targeted when you can use use breakthrough skill, which does which negates the a monster's effect anyway. Well, Skill Prisoner comes into its own in certain situations in which the monster isn't on the field. Um, a lot of people have been talking about this card in the Mermail matchup, with its interaction with... Um, from the names, the Atlanteans, Atlantean Heavy Infantry and Atlantean Dragoons. Because if you're able to use... The, uh, if your opponent is targeting stuff with Heavy Infantry and... Uh, not Dragoons, um, Heavy Infantry and Marksmen, you can use this card to stop those cards, whereas Breakthrough Skill will not give you a way around them. However, that's a very slim difference. A lot of people have cited how this card stops um, Bear, Gorilla, Cardinal, um, Chaos Sorcerer, things you know, common things that target. But at the same time, Breakthrough Skill stops that. But Breakthrough Skill is also an out to the really infamous, th really infamous things like, say, Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, which, which is a really dangerous card in its own right, which doesn't target. And it's just it's. The, the the advantages of skill prisoner skill prisoner, sorry, in my opinion, are really slim. Um I feel that this card like people wanted a comparison, so I'm gonna give you a comparison. This card I feel is a side deck card, this this card I feel is a main deck card. Why? Well because skill prisoner loses to certain things, certain non targeting things, and there are a few non targeting things in the game. Whereas breakthrough skill is is really really general. Um, breakthrough. Sk the only advantage of skill prisoner over breakthrough skill, I feel, is the fact that a. Well, sorry, it has a couple of a couple of advantages. The fact that a. It can stop something in the graveyard, or in the hand from you know targeting one of your cards and doing something to it. And you can also use it in your opponent's turn. Whereas with breakthrough skill, you can't uh, from the grave. Sorry. Um, whereas breakthrough skill, you have to use during your turn if you want to use it from the grave, which is one of the things which I feel um, skill prisoner does better. But I feel that if you're only using this card for certain matchups, na namely the um, the Atlantean, sorry, Merma the Mermail matchup, but you can also use it in the Bougian matchup to uh, negate Quillins and um, I forgot the name of it now. Quillins and Centipedes, and you can also use this as the out to the bear if they do play, if they still play the bear. I personally don't. Um, so this does have an advantage in those matchups, but I feel that it's not a card that you should main deck, simply because it's much narrower than Breakthrough. Breakthrough, I was able to main deck at last year's Nats, because it gave me an out to almost everything. It gave me outs to everything in Mermail, Fire Fist, um, Rabbit, uh, Infernity, all the things that were there, whereas Skill Prisoner wouldn't have allowed me 
any outs to Infernity and would have given me kind of a narrow situations against uh, against Mermail. While I think it's a good side in against Mermail, it's quite narrow, especially in this format where uh, only Marksman is really is really relevant with its effect. This card is also is is good, I suppose, in this in the new Mermail matchup because of 101. This card can stop 101, but again, Breakthrough Skill can stop 101. So, looking at it objectively, I guess I prefer Breakthrough Skill. Um, I haven't really done much testing with Skill Prisoner. But in my opinion, it's a little too narrow. I think its effect is great, um, and its wording is great. I really like the way that it, you know, if you if your opponent targets something at activation, and then when it tries to resolve, this will negate it, and this creates a condition. Um, I still really like breakthrough skill. Another advantage now that I think about it is the condition that skill prisoner creates. While it can a be used to force your opponent into a minus, or at least just stop their effect from resolving that targets your monster. It then also creates a condition, so that for throughout the rest of the turn, your opponent can't target that card with a monster effect. I keep saying monster, monster as if they're targeting your stuff. I mean card. This then means that your opponent's monster effects cannot target your cards. Um, at first when I misread this, I thought it was going to be absolutely broken, because I misread it and said when your opponent's card effect tries to resolve targeting one of your cards, so I was like, oh, this stops MSTs and things like that? Cool! But no, it's, uh, it's monster effects. But um, I just I really like this card for in theory, but I feel that um, it's going to be a bit so-so in some matchups. A lot of people have also been saying, "Yay, it's a it's an out to Vela, it stops Vela." But again, those that is a really narrow situation that you need to have this set in or in the graveyard in. So I really, uh, I want to praise this card. I really do, but at the same time. It's so so. So that's the skill prisoners out of the way. We're go I'm going to talk about the breakthrough skills quickly because I I vastly prefer breakthrough skill. For those of you who've been living under a rock and don't know what breakthrough skill does, besides you know and haven't witnessed its gorgeous artwork because I absolutely love its artwork. Breakthrough skill reads: Target one face-up effect monster your opponent controls. Negate the effects of that opponent's face-up monster until the end of this turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one face of effect monster your opponent controls. Negate that target's effect until the end of this turn. So this card is great as it's like uh, as it's basically a trap effect veiler, but it also but it's better than effect veiler because it reads until the end of this turn, not until the end phase. So this card will actually work on your Martos and they won't be able to use their end phase effect. Um, Breakthrough skill is better than skill prisoner in the respect that it outright negates any effect. If you're, uh, this thing won't stop any Stratos like effect. It won't stop Spellman Magician. It won't stop, uh, Inferno Arc Fiend. This card will. This card will stop all that search malarkey in its trap, in its tracks. The only problem is if you're getting Valid, Marksman, or anything that I said about this card, you're gonna lose out. So, that's about it because I, uh, I did all the ca point counterpoint when I was talking about skill prisoner. Um, so I kind of guess I, I kind of guess I did this in the wrong order, but shut up! I'm tired. I'm still really tired from regionals. Um, in final review, I feel that um, breakthrough skill is the better main deck choice than skill prisoner, but I would definitely side deck skill prisoner um, in a meta which is dominated by Mermel and Firefist like it is now. I think this card is really solid, um, a really good out to those cards, but it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Also, I'm still debating two or one, um, because one has such versatility because it can be used in your opponent's turn. It's not like breakthrough skill where you need multiples to try and negate stuff in their turn. Um, this card can be used in their turn. So, I will, I'm gonna be, I guess I'm gonna test this out in the near future, see if citing one or two is a good number, and I'll get back to you guys. But for now, I will say that, as player preference, I prefer um, breakthroughs because, um, Skill Prisoner, things that Skill Prisoner stops, like Grave Effects uh, that target your stuff, I can deal with and I can predict and I can play around. Like the Bougie, Quillen, and Centipede, I can play around. Whereas stuff that my opponent is just going to summon and try and search with, or summon Bear Pop, um, this card this card gives me a few more outs to a few more unpredictable things. So I, I feel I, I like this a lot better and it's got much nicer artwork. But um... Yeah, let me go. Let me go. What you guys think in the comment section down below? What you think of these two cards? I'm probably missing something. Knowing me, whenever I record things at two in the morning, I'm I'm always missing something. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And as always, this is me, Jamie the Kid Zero Zero. I'll see you guys next time with some more Yu-Gi-Oh related content. And I hope you're enjoying these review videos because I'm actually kind of enjoying making them. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.